What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're talking about Buffy the Vampire Slayer in this video here again today. We'll be going over some characters that you may or may not have known about who originally had alternate fates before we actually got the arcs that we got for them in the universe as it exists between the two shows that of course being Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel the spinoff series. So just to kick it off, speaking on Angel himself, Angel, Buffy's boyfriend, who we met back in Welcome to the Hellmouth during season one, those two develop a relationship early on. Buffy discovers Angel is a vampire. The love continues to blossom, uh, and they have sex on Buffy's 17th birthday, which causes the vampire to lose his soul and break the curse that the gypsies had set on him, which is why he appeared to be so harmless in the first place, which made the shocking revelation he's a vampire a bombshell to Buffy and her friends. So, Angelus, his evil form, we know, ended up teaming up with old friends Spike and Drusilla, two newcomers in town at time, or at the time but during the season two finale willow is able to restore angel's soul but buffy is still forced to send him to hell in order to close the mouth of akathla to save the world now it's rumored that this would have been the vampire's final stand up until the point of wb deciding that they want to do a spinoff series with david boring as so in the events of season two when he is killed it would appear according to rumors and other things that i've been able to find online that David Boring as his exit was supposed to be in that moment when Buffy killed him at the end of season two. Now, if Angel had stayed dead, imagine all of the things that wouldn't have happened. Would Faith have ever been redeemed as a character? Would Cordelia have ever gone on this amazing arc that she ended up having in Los Angeles working with Angel in, of course, the spinoff show? What would Wesley's life post Sunnydale have looked like? Who would Doyle have teamed with in L.A.? in terms of of course being granted with the uh, visions from the powers that be and all these other things that we know have played out given that angel is still here so jumping into another person who almost bit the dust earlier than expected uh is spike spike is another case of a character who in fact wasn't meant to stick around but it seems that the higher ups at the wb who were forced or who forced joss whedon to do something he didn't want to do is why the character stuck around as long as he has now during michael rosenbaum's inside of you podcast back in 2020 james marsters recalled how spike was intended to be a run-of-the-mill character that was off at some point during season two whedon wasn't interested in exploring spike and at one point according to marsters whedon was bothered and backed him up against the wall one day and said i don't care how popular you are kid you hear me you're dead dead marsters says that whedon was not joking around and was dead serious because the situation bothered him now here's my thing as toxic as that sounds and a lot of the other things we've been hearing about joss whedon over these past couple of years marster sticking around the character of spike sticking around did more good than bad to the show and spike went on to have one of the most tremendous arcs that culminated with him going out in his own terms to save the world now again imagine if spike had died in season two where would the show have ended up at who would have been in that position in season seven? Would it have been Angel? Would it have been somebody else? So many things that could have gone differently. You know, there's also all the love that develops between Spike. Well, that Spike develops for Buffy, I should say. And then that unhealthy relationship. So many things that could have played differently if Spike had died in season two as planned. So another person is Faith. Faith is another character who almost bit, bit it much earlier in the series. After killing the deputy mayor, instead of aligning with Mayor Wilkins, going into a coma, becoming a criminal on the run, and going down a redemption arc, Faith was apparently going to commit suicide. All of this is just going to be too much for the character to bear, and she was supposed to off herself after killing the deputy mayor. Now, Eliza Dushku is said to have addressed this during a Q&A, and allegedly this information has been circulating online due to commentary tracks from the series' home media release. Imagine that, though. Imagine Faith killing herself after her actions instead of what we got. So much of this is just an eye-opener to me to see how vastly different the show's legacy could be if these changes weren't made and if they had stuck to some of their original plans. Eliza impressed Whedon so much that she was able to stick around and ultimately return to Sunnydale during the events of season seven, like we know, to be present for the final fight in the Hellmouth with Buffy against the first evil with the other potential Slayers, as well as Spike and all the others that were doing their part uh, above ground and not battling in the Hellmouth. So if Faith had died again, 
Imagine how different it would have been. Imagine her not going on her redemption arc. Imagine her not going over the angel. Imagine her just not being saved. And I get what Faith was supposed to be like a dark reflection of Buffy, but maybe that would have been too dark for her to commit suicide. Now, the last person we'll talk about here, because I know there's several others. I'm not going to be talking about who you might think it is. It's not Anya. <laughs> it is Alexis Denisoff's character of Wesley Wyndham Price, who was another character who was almost killed during season three of Buffy. He allegedly said this during some recent interview or recent reports where he had revealed that the character of Wesley was supposed to be somebody who came along, did filled in the anno the annoying part like we know Wesley did in season three, and then he was supposed to die. He wasn't going to stick around. He wasn't going to be going to Angel, and he wasn't going to go on this eye-opening and kind of shocking character growth that he ended up going down. It was like, wow, he, this character's in a complete 360 from someone I can't stand to like, I love Wesley. Then, of course, Wesley still ended up dying. That's one of the things that I found to be unique with some of these characters. Some of them, for the most part, one way or another, still ended up dying. I mean, they came back, but they still ended up dying at some point. It's just it was prolonged. And I guess it made it better, honestly, because when Wesley died, I cared. When Spike died, I cared. When Angel died, mm, I, I would say I cared. I cared. Faith, of course, she's she's the exception. She never died. But you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You never miss a video. In the description, I will have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.